Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Today I have for you another Calico Critters Baby Blind Bag unboxing, as well as a Honeybee Acres Baby Box to unbox with you guys. Before we get started, I did want to do a quick little haul from the cutest little store that I found near my town. It's kind of a toy store slash Funko Pop store slash comic book store, but they had a bunch of different things. They had like bins of LOLs where it was like one level was the accessories, then it was the doll, then it was the outfit then it was the shoes then it was like the bottle I thought it was absolutely cool I didn't grab anything from that but I did grab a few calico critters things so I wanted to show you guys that real quick so if you want to see these unboxed and the quick little haul that I'll do at the end let's go ahead and get started if you haven't seen any of the other calico critters blind bag unboxings I'll definitely link them in the description below I definitely recommend you go check them out because we got a lot of cool different things but today we do have three different blind bags and one little box from Honeybee Acres. We do have the Calico Critters camping set, the Calico Critters costume set, and one that I literally just bought off Amazon. So if they're still available, I'll link that in the description below. It is this Calico Critters baby treat set, and I am so excited about it. But we will go ahead and just dive right in. We'll do the blind bags first and then the little box from Honeybee Acres at the end. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. So the first one we have is this baby camping series. Very, very cute. We have opened two of these before, and I'm really hoping hoping to get a new one with this one. Then we have the costume set. We again have opened two of these before. So hoping to get our third new one from this one, maybe this little deer or the mystery. And then this will be the first time we're opening this baby treat series. I am so excited. I don't really care which one I get because they all have absolutely adorable accessories and I really love this packaging on this one. So I am really, really excited. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I thought I saw the little brown ear, but I am so excited. We got the one that I want. And these just come in a blind bag, but then when you pull them out, they're in these clear little plastic things. So you kind of know who you get right away, but we'll go ahead and take a look at her. So we have just her little binocular accessory. This is so absolutely adorable. I love this. But here she is. She is so tiny. I am in love with her. And this will actually go perfect with what I show you guys at the end of the video. So I am absolutely pumped. This is adorable. And I am so happy we did not get a duplicate. I love her. Yay! Okay, this is another one and I don't even remember her from the checklist. Oh, probably because I wasn't even paying attention to her, but it looks like she's a little tuxedo cat. I think this one is definitely better than the one I got from the last costume series. So I'm really excited about that because the last costume series I felt like was a ripoff because it was like not even a costume. So I'm excited that all three of the costume series were not duplicate. So that's really, really cool as well. Her little accessory is just a tiny little crown. So cute. And here she is. This goes perfect because I actually have a tuxedo cat from another series. This one is actually kind of small compared to the other ones that I've gotten before or maybe it's the same size let's see oh no oh uh, yes so definitely a little bit smaller but not too bad oh they're friends so she is absolutely adorable I love her little pink dress and I guess she is supposed to be a princess so we'll put her little crown on her oh that is everything that is seriously everything all right so now we're on to our final blind bag for the video and this one I am the most excited about again I don't really care who we get but but I would love, love, love either the panda or the deer. I am honestly obsessed with the calico critter deers. I have no idea why, maybe because they are just so freaking adorable. Oh my god okay the marshmallow mouse or the marshmallow mice are seriously one of my favorite families. So this is everything oh my goodness i didn't want to say i wanted this one because i really did so good first time opening Ooh! oh my god i love this accessory already
So here we have a little plate with the little heart ears just like the marshmallow mice have. And then we have a little cake with a tiny face. Oh, this is everything. This accessory is probably the best one from a blind bag we've gotten so far. This one was a dollar more than the other ones were. I don't know if it's because of the economy with the inflation right now or just because these ones come with better accessories. But here is our tiny marshmallow mouse. She does have some red on her face, but this is so freaking cute. I am so happy with this. I am in love. All right, friends, so now we are on to our little Honeybee Acres box. It is not a blind box, so I was able to pick who I wanted. I am most excited about this one. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, like I said, definitely go back and check them out because I have two other ones that had really cool accessories as well. But this one is definitely by far my favorite and I haven't even opened it, but that's mostly because cows are my favorite animal. And this one happens to be a baby cow. So it already has my heart. So here are the other ones you can get. I tried tried getting my hands on a bunch of other ones, but I wasn't able to. So I'm still on the lookout, but there is Hootie the owl, Binks the dog, Moo the cow, Gregory the bear, I believe, Mimi the cat, Lucky the unicorn, Ollie the mouse, and Sadie the bunny. And I didn't even realize on the other one that there was actually a story. So sorry about that. But this one says meet Moo. Moo's favorite pastime is sliding down the slide over and over again. His best move is sliding down backwards. That is so cute. And I love the little box on this it's like a little house so we'll go ahead and get this open And these ones remind me a lot of the little calico critter boxes that you can get. I'll throw up a picture if you've never seen them, but they are like this, but they come in plastic carrying cases rather than a cardboard box. And they have a ton of different series. I actually tried to get my hands on some from eBay, but I was at Cracker Barrel the other day and they actually had them in the store part of the Cracker Barrel for sale. I was gonna pick them up, but I wasn't willing to pay that much money. So, you know, maybe in the future. Oh, oh my god i'm in love i'm in love oh i am fully obsessed we will look at the accessory first so here's the little slide so very cute it even has little stairs at the back and little flower design in the red and then of course there's the signature bee in the plastic and here is our little baby moo oh my god i am in love look at his little face this is just everything to me guys he is definitely coming back with me oh look at his little tail the diaper is so cute i love this one all right friends so that's absolutely everyone we're opening for today's video i completely forgot to let you know that that these lovely little babies do have names for our little deer here at the bottom we have darren buckley deer for our little tuxedo cat we have peppermint tuxedo cat and then lastly for our little mouse we do have albert marshmallow mouse so i am so excited i think this is the best calico critters blind bag unboxing that i've done i've only done three this being the third one but this one has definitely made me the happiest i love every single one i don't even have to convince myself that I love everyone I just genuinely do they are so cute and let me just tell you that my calico gritter baby collection is pretty big at this point I have just a few here from other unboxings so I love adding new friends I'm so so excited to have each one of these like I said that little Albert marshmallow mouse has now made me want to buy even more of those blind bags so hopefully I can get at least three more and then another honeybee acres friend and then we can do another video let me know in the comments below if y'all want that if not I'll do it for myself but I am absolutely amazed I definitely think that baby moo is going to be my favorite for this video but if I had to pick just a calico critter I think I'm going with Albert Marshmallow Mouse because I love his accessory and I love him the other ones the critter's cute but I don't necessarily like the accessory real quick I will go over the differences between the honeybee acres calico critters just so we can kind of evaluate here so here they are I will say the calico Calico Critter is definitely chunkier and this one's obviously more skinny. They are very cute in their own right. The little clothes are probably a little bit better on the Calico Critter and I will say as far as the fuzz, it's definitely better on the Calico Critter. It's not bad on the Honeybee Acre one but for some reason on this cow it's not really fuzzy. It's kind of more just lightly fuzz but it could be because he's a cow and cows are like short-haired but the other Honeybee Acres ones that I've opened have been 
decently flocked so I don't know if it's just this one but overall I will say they're not too far off in quality they each have a little uniqueness of their own that makes them worth buying but if it came down to it this was a six dollar thing and this was like 3.99 so these are definitely more budget friendly definitely worth the price especially because it came with an accessory that's pretty big and can add to your little like village so I would definitely say if you're picking between two and you are on a budget I recommend these there's nothing Nothing wrong with them absolutely adorable but of course me being me I would go for both just to kind of diversify my collection but other than that I would say that the quality is pretty nice on both of them it just depends how much you want to spend obviously and you know where you want your collection to go but I'm in love like I said baby moo the little cow is definitely gonna be my favorite in this video but which one was your favorite and why so now real quick we're gonna jump into the little haul that I have from the local toy store that I went to it's just a few things so let's just jump into that like I said I do have just a few things and when I saw these I knew I had to pick them up so I do have this calico critter baby friends so we're adding more friends to our collection it looks like we have a hopscotch rabbit possibly a dog and then I think a chipmunk so we have hazelnut chipmunk boy hopscotch rabbit girl and then silk cat girl so really really fun super excited to add these to my collection they're all gonna be new except the rabbit so that's really nice these typically retail for $14.99 and I got it for $10 so that was really cool then I actually was able to pick up a bunch of loose figures and I'm really excited about them. The first one is this little, I think it's a bear, but it's very, very cute. And I got her for $2. I absolutely love her. I can definitely tell this is an older one. So I like that. I got this very tiny baby otter. I believe he came from a triplet set. So now I just have to find the other two or the brand new set. And this one I got for $3. I'm not sure why this one was more, but it was. Then I I got this cute little baby deer and that's why I said the deer we got today was perfect for adding to the collection this one was three dollars then I was able to find a deer little sister and you can definitely tell that these deer are also a lot older and this one was four dollars and I think it was just price increase as the figure increased and then finally I have this deer mom or just older female deer a fawn and this one was five dollars so that's everything for the haul all right friends so that's absolutely everything for the video I had so much fun with this in the comments below definitely let me know which one was your favorite and why don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up it really does help me out make sure to subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell that way you can be notified of any future calico critters unboxing that go up on the channel other than that I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next one bye friends mm -hmm.